These satellite images are of the Russian military activity in Crimea. They show how Russia is stepping up its deployments near Ukraine with aircraft, vehicles at air bases, and training areas. Ukraine assesses that Russia will soon have more than 120,000 troops on the border. Short on options, the Ukrainian president sent this message from Kiev to Moscow. Does Ukraine want the war? No, it doesn't. But is Ukraine ready for the war? Yes, it is. Will Ukraine stop trying to achieve peace by diplomatic means? Never. But will Ukraine defend itself in case of something? Always. Our stand is simple. Ukraine never starts the war first, but we always stand till the end. Mr. Putin, I'm ready to go even further and invite you to meet anywhere in the Ukrainian Donbas where there is a war. Glory to Ukraine. Slava Ukraine. Zelensky is inviting Putin for talks, but it doesn't look like Moscow wants a dialogue. Tensions escalated this week when Russia carried out more military exercises in the Black Sea. Reports say the Russians are planning to block parts of these waters, a move that could impact access to Ukrainian ports. Those living near the borders are afraid. Many people have begun to leave their homes. Those who are still around fear that a war could soon break out. I know we will have a war. We have had a truce and it will be war again. I heard that military equipment was being transported here. People are leaving little by little. I don't know what we should do. We have nowhere to go at the moment. For the United States, Russia still remains the aggressor. Ukraine's other ally, the European Union, believes it would take just a spark to settle for confrontation. An assessment that was validated by Vladimir Putin himself, the Russian president, used his annual State of the Union speech to deliver a warning to the West. In some countries, they have started an obscene custom of blaming Russia for anything, like it was some kind of sport. I hope that no one will think of crossing the red line with Russia. And where this line will be, in every particular case, we will determine it ourselves. The Russian military buildup has been going on for weeks now. But what's motivating Moscow's aggression still remains unclear. Either Russia is posturing by putting pressure on Kiev, or this is a serious bid to launch an offensive against Ukraine, a former state of the erstwhile Soviet Union. Either way, it is US President Joe Biden's resolve that is being tested.